So a question I've been asked a ton is, how do I get my website online once I've coded it? Here's a website I've got, here's the files for it, and I can view it in Chrome, but I want to get this thing online with its own domain name. We're going to cover that in this email, and it's a lot simpler than you might think. Here's the steps. Uh, one, you got to get a domain if you don't have one. Uh, that's going to be about $12 a month, uh, $12 a year, I'm sorry. Um, and then you got to get a web host. That's about roughly $5 a month. We're going to do one that's $6 a month uh, because you get unlimited domain names with this one. Uh, I recommend for a web host going with uh, HostGator. Dot com. I have some codes for that. Uh, these guys tend to be the cheapest and they have great customer support. So you're going to get a lot out of them. Um, and you can also use drop 25 perk, drop 25% coupon code uh, to save 25% or you can do drop 10 bucks. Uh, and save 10 bucks on that. So we're going to go through that process of what all that looks like so you're comfortable before you start it. You're going to upload your files and then you're going to dance and rejoice because your website is live. That's pretty much it. To upload your files, I recommend Cyberduck. I think it's just a great, simple, free program. And that's it. So let's get into HostGator and do step one. All right, so here we are at HostGator.com. And once again, after 15 years, as a professional web developer, for starting off websites, these are kind of the best company I could ever recommend. I've used well over a dozen, helped a lot of people that are using other hosts, and this just has the best for the price. Um, if you go to web hosting, we're going to get our domain and our web hosting at the same time. Uh, you have two choices. You can go single domain. That's the cheapest. But if you bump it up like $2 a month, or I guess $3 if you're good at math, $3.50, uh, you can get unlimited domains, which means you can have all the websites you want as long as you pay for the domain name. Uh, and this is definitely the one I'd recommend. That way, if you want to add your brother's website, anybody else's website, you can do it for free. They just have to buy the domain. Um, let's go Will's Awesome Site. Will's Awesome Site is available. So willsawesomesite.com. I'm actually going to buy this um, and let it expire. So uh, here we go. I'm going to do a one-month baby package. If you did the 36 months, you can apply that big drop 25% coupon on there, and that's going to save like $75. Uh, but I wouldn't do that. I'm not going to do that for this example uh, since this is a fake website I'm never going to use. I'm just going to do one month and I'm just going to do drop 10 bucks uh, to actually bring that down. And then I'm going to uncheck all these add ons. You do not need these add ons. Uh, I never, ever recommend for anybody to do these add-ons. So there we go. That brings us down to a total of $12, which is basically the cost of our domain name. And the first month of hosting is free. I'm going to fill out all my billing information, and I'll be right back. All right, we're successful. I was able to register for the hosting, um, and now I've gotten this email, which you will want to guard with your life because this is the, all the server information. Uh, and this is what you want to pass on to somebody else if the website ever changes hands. This is basically server access. Uh, here's kind of what it is. is. This is our control panel where you can edit a lot of stuff, install WordPress, add email addresses for your domain name you just got. Uh, this is your username and your password to log into the website. That's my domain, which if I click there, it does not work yet because a domain takes 1 to 24 hours to do what's called propagation. Uh, so it can happen as fast as an hour, but I'd, I'd give it a full day. Uh, and then your server IP, this is actually your server uh, that this domain name now points to. Uh, and so we can actually access the server with this IP until our domain name propagates. So let's go ahead and copy the server IP. And let's go ahead and crank open Cyberduck and hit open connection. We're going to connect to the server. Now in the future, we can use willsawesomesite.com. Uh, but once again, that's not propagated yet, so Cyberduck won't be able to connect to it either. Let's copy the username. Let's copy the password. And then we're sometimes you, if you run into any errors here, you may need to change your connect mode to passive FTP. Uh, so if you run into any problems, do that. So here we go. I've connected to my server. And if I go to www, um, sometimes you'll have a default HTML file that you'll just want to go ahead and delete. You don't need it. Let's go ahead and just copy all of my files. Let's just drag them on over. Cyberduck is burping at me. Yes, don't show again. I want to switch to secure. So there you go. All the files are now copying over 
to my web, my web host. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the way we can connect to it and see if that worked is let's go and copy the server IP. Here's kind of a quick workaround is you can go to your username which it made will stir it cut off the end so I can now go to my IP address slash tilde will stir and this will be my website there we go I had to hit refresh because it was still in the process of uploading there you go and that's it my website is now online and within 24 hours I can go to whatever what is it again willsawesomesite.com and hit ref and load it up and it will be my learn code rocks website let me actually prove it to you that this is what happened I'm going to go change this learn code is awesome let me change it what is that learn code rocks really rocks there we go let's go ahead and redrag my new index.html file up it's probably gonna ask me if I want to replace it yep I do want to replace it Let's hit refresh and now learn code really rocks and that is how you put your website online. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and have a great day.